A lot has happened since our last Minnesota cold video. We're blocks from where Mr. George Floyd was killed and just a block off of Lake Street where the riots happened afterwards. Mr. Setu Jones is an artist here in Minneapolis and he's made some George Floyd stencils available on his website, setujonesstudio.com forward slash blues for George. Mr. Jones, thank you for making those stencils available so that others could create beautiful paintings like yours. I'm going to be showing you the steps for how to create one. And Mr. Floyd, may your death bring about much needed change to our justice system, to our city, and that it would lead to deep examination of biases and racism in our own hearts. Begin by going to saytojonesstudio.com forward slash blues for George forward slash. Partway down the page, you'll find download the five stencils. Click on that. Then drag each of the pictures onto your computer. Then right click, rotate left. Now open a new tab and drag it over to that tab. Then cast that to your TV. So I took four pieces of paper, taped them together, and now I'm going to use painter's tape and tape it onto the TV. Now I'm going to trace it with a non-permanent marker. You'll see in the later steps that the parts that are shaded will get cut out and will be the parts that will get painted on the board. For each of the five layers, you now are going to create stencils. First, I did a shallow cut through the paper, marking the cardboard. Then I traced over those lines with a permanent marker. Then I cut all the way through the cardboard and repeated all those steps for the other layers. Mark the corners so that you can later line up the layers and also make sure to number each layer. Next, you need to get five shades of blue and we're gonna start with the lightest color and end with the darkest color, doing each one, one stencil at a time. You'll also notice I notched out the corners so that I can line up each stencil. I'm also going to put some tape underneath to hold the stencil down. Again, just line up the corners. And with the parts that are already painted, I'm going to put some painter's tape over those so it stays that color. You notice on this layer there's several islands and so we're going to have to put those on too. Got the duct tape on the back again. And then we need to add a three dots into the eye area. 